Hello and welcome to this video on installing Linux. Now in this case we're going to be installing a version of Linux called Fedora and we're going to use version 14. So at this point you should grab the disk on the DVD that you have called Fedora 14 and put into the drive. And we're going to install from the disk. Alright. Next, open your virtual box program and you may or may not have any new um, machines in here but we're going to create a new one okay and we're gonna call this Fedora 14 now we'll put 14 in there just in case you have different kinds of Fedoras now you notice it picks operating system type Linux and you could pick whatever you like and you can pick whatever version you like now it just gives you some default settings and that's what this is all about okay memory it's all good we'll just leave the default okay we're going to create a new hard disk and next now in this setting if you want really good performance you would use fixed size storage which means if you want a 10 gigabyte virtual computer it makes a 10 gigabyte file okay but for our purposes we're going to use dynamic that means if we only have 2 gigabytes used and even though we told it to be a 10 gigabyte drive our file is only for the hard drive will only be 2 gigabytes okay so we're going to use that um, we're going to increase this a little bit. We're going to say 10 just in case we need a little more. And finish. Alright, now there's a couple things I would like you to change for better performance. Okay, number one is display. So let's go to the display options. What you want to do is you want to increase that video RAM to 128. Now you got to be careful you got to balance between how much memory you have for your entire system and how much for your virtual box. So we've got 512 now for Fedora plus 128 which is 700 and some. Okay, That means that if I have 4 gigs in my system I only have um, 3 and a bit left for Windows to run. Okay, So you got to keep that in mind. You got to balance it. Now I'm going to enable 3D acceleration. That's going to give me a better, um, better performance. Okay. Next, storage. What we need to do is make sure we attach our DVD. So, click on the CD here, or DVD, and this little disc here will allow us to pick what drive we want. And I know that it's in drive D, so I'm pick drive D. Don't worry about that pass through what that means. Basically, um, you can actually burn disks then and so on and things like that, but we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so now we're ready to go. All right, so now we can start up our virtual machine and uh, start the install. All right, so here we go, and we're going to start installing. Okay, so we have to click first on the screen to uh, get the mouse in there. If you want to get the mouse out, <coughs> you press the right control button, and it releases the mouse from the screen. Later on, this will be done automatically. It's, con it's built into the new version of VirtualBox. Okay, so just press I, or you can use the arrow keys, and we're going to install a new system. Alright, so one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch to scale mode. Now what does scale mode mean? It means that no matter what size I make it, it's going to fit basically into the screen. Alright, now one thing you should always do 
when you uh, install your own version that's critical and you burn your own CDs is always test it. Now I'm going to uh, run the test. I would suggest you run the test on yours before you install to make sure your DVD actually works. Okay, it's always a good idea to test your media before you install to make sure you won't run into any problems. There's nothing more frustrating than installing it or trying to install it and you realize that the media, the disc, is bad. Okay, and that's really important because when you get Fedora, right, you usually download it off the internet. And who knows if the image file you download is correct or if it burned correct. So there's a lot of variables involved. So I always like to check my disks before I install. It takes a few minutes longer, maybe four or five minutes or so, um, but it's well worth it. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when the disk is all done checking. Okay, so the test has successfully verified that everything's okay. All right, so we'll hit enter for okay. And now we can continue with the install and tab moves you over. Okay. Fedora disk was not found. Okay, yes, it will have spit it out after you tested it. So just put your disk back in the drive and uh, then we're ready to go. All back in there and uh, let's try this again. All right, there we go. So it's going to take you through the install and during the install I will pause in between just because no one likes to watch a progress bar. Like I mean that's like watching paint dry. So in between I will pause um, the video and come back when things have gone. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right. So one thing about Fedora is it's built by a multi a multi national or a, a bunch of countries have built Fedora. I mean, it's around the world. So there are many many different languages represented here. And not only is the install in a language different language, but the whole entire interface is a different language. So that's something really, really cool that other operating systems don't offer or other version non Linux versions. So we're going to pick the default, which is English. <clears throat> okay, basic storage. Um, that's all we need. You can do specialized types of storages for networks and so on. And it's going to talk about partitioning and setting this all up for our purposes. We're just going to reinitialize all everything and keep it really, really simple. Okay, computer name. Now I would suggest you call yours learner, learner, whatever your number is. I'll be learner zero zero. Okay, time zones. Now, if you're lucky enough, you can easily pick Winnipeg, America, off the map or you can pick it off the list. Now it's funny how Linux everything in America, North America, Canada is all the same. So pick the closest center and Winnipeg happens to be the closest center to where I am. Okay, password. Alright, now Linux is secure right from the beginning. In the previous video you've seen that it's built on security. So you want to make sure you know what the password is. Don't forget what it is. And also, you're going to want to remember what it is. So I would write it down or do something to remember it. So here's my password. It's going to be capital P, amper, or at sign, SSW0RD16. Now, I'm going to pop that up in a Word document for you, or a notepad document, so you can actually see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what my password's going to look like. Now, if you remember from uh, the previous uh, video about Bud Logs In, you're going to know that this is a strong password. Capitals, lowercase, 
special characters and numbers and it's long enough okay so that's going to be my password I got to put it in twice all right now remember you have to know what it is if you forget you're not going to log in it's going to be almost impossible to log in if you forget your password so it's really really important to remember it okay so replacing existing systems um, yes we're going to replace everything <clears throat> next and we're going to write changes to the disk okay so it's going to create the file systems formatting and uh, it'll be ready to go in a minute okay formatting Formatting virtual drives is a lot faster than formatting real drives. Okay, and Linux does things a little differently than Windows, so um, you'll just have to, well, that's a whole discussion later on. Okay, so what kind of programs do we want? Well, we're going to use the default graphical desktop, but you could install this for software development, web server minimal, or you can... Um, add all kinds of additional things. So I'm just going to leave the default graphical desktop. That's sort of the basic workstation. Okay, now this part might take a little while. It's going to check for all the dependencies for the things I need <clears throat> and then it's going to install them. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's doing something a little bit different if we need to talk about it.